Good morning. Are you at home today? I'm still at school, but can I tell you a secret? It's Monday and you are in the gym right now playing and I snuck in here to write a morning message because today is a snow day. So it's too snowy on the roads to come to school, so we're gonna have school at home. We don't need to do jobs, but you could do a job at home. How could you help at your house? Do you have plants to water? You probably aren't going to be in a line. Hmm. Could you pick a song for your family to sing? You could be the song selector today. Think of a way you can have a job when you're at home today. Let's read the morning message. It says, what do you think? Good morning. Then there's a question. Do you see snow? That's one thing you could do. You could play in the snow today. Probably have to put your snow pants on and your hat and your gloves. It's probably cold out. But maybe you could build a snowman or go sledding or I don't know. What else can you do in the snow? I like to lay in the snow and look up at the sky. Maybe you could do that. Inside, what does this word say? Let's, number one, I didn't try to fool you today. I have a number one. Float a boat. At school, we have doing, been doing boats and fish in our tray table, in our, your, your tray table. You, don't have, you didn't take that home with you, though, did you? But I bet you might have a bowl at home, or you could use your bathtub or the sink. Ask a grown-up where you can float a boat. When you float a boat, you're going to need a boat. You're going to need to make a boat. So maybe you could use some aluminum foil. And I'm going to bend up all of my things right here. And I'm going to make it small enough. Is that small enough to fit in my bowl? No. Let me try again. Aluminum foil is pretty cool because it can rip pretty easily if you need to make it smaller. So let's see. I'm going to put it right in here. All the sides up. I'm going to put it right in, oh, what did I forget? Water. I have to put some water in my, in my bowl. But you could make a boat. You could float a boat. Did you hear a rhyme? I think I heard a rhyme. Float, boat. Does that rhyme? Give me a thumbs up if you think that rhymes. I think it does too. Let's see, what else have we been doing in the green room lately? Let me see. Number two, throw a ball. We've been throwing balls and bean bags at targets. What if you did that at home today? Let's see what else I have in this little bag here. What could I have? I have some paper plates. When Miss Emily made our targets, she used some markers, didn't she? And she drew some circles. Let's see if I can do that. Here in my magnet still. Here they are. I'm going to put my magnet in the middle. I could draw some circles on the target. Now, maybe you have a rule that you're not supposed to throw balls inside the house, and that is a really good rule. So I have an idea. Guess what I have here? I have socks. And I bet there's a grown-up at your house that can roll up the socks, or maybe you can figure out how to. And you can make your socks into a ball. And you can throw the ball at your target. So that's another thing you can do. You can throw a ball. Did someone notice something? Boat and ball both start with a B. I wonder if there's any other Bs on the board today. Did you see this one? In our next sentence, there's going to be another B. Let's read it and find out. Number three. Oh, I think you know this word. Make a book. In this bag, I have a book. And it's just all I did. Actually, Grandma Ellen made these. Just take some paper and fold it and then put some staples in it. But did you notice it doesn't have a title yet? It doesn't have any words yet. So I need an idea. I have an idea. I know a good book that we could read to get ideas. This book is called 
Deer Zoo, and it's by Rod Campbell. How about we read this book and see if we can get an idea for our book? Let's see, oh, there's the title page. Deer Zoo, Rod Campbell. I wrote to the zoo and they sent me a pet. They sent me a elephant. He was too big, so I sent him back. So they sent me a, but you can see, giraffe. He was too tall, so I sent him back. So they sent me a lion. That makes me think of Muhammad. He was too fierce. So I sent him back. Do you know what fierce means? It kind of means scary and tough. So they sent me a camel. He was too grumpy. So I sent him back. So they sent me a, oh, a snake. He was too scary. So I sent him back. So they sent me a monkey. He was too naughty. So I sent him back. I think he got into trouble all of the time. So they sent me a, which way does this flap go? Oh, frog. But he was too jumpy, so I sent him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a dog. He was perfect, so I kept him. You know what, that gave me an idea. Maybe you could make your book a book about the zoo. Maybe you could draw pictures of animals inside. And do you know what else I noticed about that book? It has, boy, oh, I have to reach, it has flaps in it. So I wonder if in our story, and I'll take my target down. Maybe, oops, I could use a marker. And maybe I could draw a line in it. A circle. Main. Kind of looks like a sunshine right now, doesn't it? And you know what I can do with my flap? I can make a flap like this and cover it up. And then when I get to this page, I can lift it up. Do you think you could do that? I know you could. Whatever you choose to do today, have a great day. And we'll hope that all the snow plows come and clear all the roads and we can be back together in the green room again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.